Hello, my name is Daniel, and in this video we're going to continue with the Math Tutor series. And I think actually in this one we'll, it's actually going to be the last one. So we're finally done. Sweet. Uh, all right. First thing first, uh, I created two new directories. So as you can see, we have images and fonts. And inside fonts, I put uh, these two Roboto fonts. And inside of images. I have two PNGs so let me explain real quick so I'll give the link uh, to how to use um, not how to use but how to get these two in the description and also a link to how to get these two so these two will be in the github repo so that way I'll just give you a link to the repo and then you can just uh, download it from there and add them yeah pretty simple and uh, and uh, yeah that's basically it so once you show you how to use these fonts you can basically replace them with any ones with any single one that you want so yeah so let's just get started so first off we're gonna color the background color the background and how we do that is we do window that clear color oops I can't even spell man color there we go window clear color yeah that should work and it's gonna be get color from hex so the method name already sets what, it, what the whole purpose of it so let's pass in a color one six two zero three b there we go so that's the color that we want the background if you want to experiment you can put a hexa color for red or whatever purple or whatever you want just to show you that I'm not a liar so yeah go for it so now it's giving me an error that uh, get color is undefined so let's go ahead and do that I believe it's we do it by kiwi that utils that import get color from hex ah, there you go so yeah so kiwi the utils yeah that should work sweet alright now the next part is how we register fonts to the app register fonts baby fonts and to do that we're gonna have to import another library yes another library man nothing but libraries so from I believe it's kiwi.core.txt import label base. Yep, there we go. Sweet. Uh, all right. So now that we're back over here, we do label base dot register, and let me center it. There you go. Uh, register, and what we're gonna put is name. Oh, actually, let's look at the documentation. So CD. So you see, label base register takes all of these good, good lovely arguments. And we're actually just going to use three of them. So the name is obviously so that we can refer to it in our program, in our Kiwi text file. That's going to be the name. And then fn regular is going to be that fonts slash roboto not thin that uh, true type font. There you go. Yeah, TTF. I got to remember that. If not, I put something else. So oh no, bold man, bold, bold. And then it's gonna be fonts slash roboto roboto. Ooh, someone just sent me a message. Roboto slash me d um that ttf. And let's see. Hmm. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right, cool. And what is this complaint now? found one ah, okay so let's just give it another space and ta-da there you go so yeah guys so you just officially registered fonts right there bam look at that that's pretty simple huh gotta love Python All right now that we're done with that we're gonna go to the Kiwi file so let's go to the Kiwi file and then what we're gonna do here is actually just a couple of things so let me do something on the other screen because I have notes I finally made notes for the videos <laughs> I finally make notes on the last video way to go man way to go alright so now that we're here the only thing that we need to add to this one is the font name oops font name and that is going to be uh, you guessed it Roboto there you go see how easy that is and also what we're gonna do is do button and when we do, uh, uh, when I do this, since button is already defined, once I do this, I'm saying, hey, apply all these rules to all the generic buttons that we already have and anything that inherits from button. 
from button. Dang it. Can't even speak, man. All right, so font name is going to be, you guessed it, Roboto. Font size is going to be, uh, let's just choose the minimum height. And uh, what's up with that? And then self, what's up with that, man? Did it used to do that before? I don't even remember. With. So just choose the smallest from those and then just divide it by four. Make life easy. Simple as that. And then we do bold. And yes, we do want it bold. And then background, normal. Why can I never type, man? Why can't I never type? Normal. So it's going to be images slash button normal dot png. And let me just copy this because I'm lazy. And now background normal. And it's not, oh, come on. It's not going to be normal. It's going to be, uh, what is it? Down. There you go. And when it's down, it's going to be button down. There you go. Bam. Simple as that. So let's see. And also the background color. Now for the background color, we're going to have to use the same method we, as we did in the main.py file, which is the get color from hex. And the beautiful thing about Kiwi is that we can import stuff from Python library, from the Python library. So how we do that is do... You see the little pound sign followed by the colon, all right? So this is very important. Pound sign follow, followed by colon. That's very important, guys. If you don't type that, if you just type like that, it's going to be a comment. But if you put the colon, it's a command now. Yep. Amazing, huh? All right. So import. Just do what I do. Color. Uh, uh, let's just put it at upper. Color dot kiwi dot utils. Uh, that get color from hex. There you go. So this is what happened. We're saying, okay, we're gonna import a library, and it's gonna in the name that we're gonna name it as in this file is color. But in reality, when we type in color, we're actually calling this function, which belongs in this module. So hopefully that makes sense. So yeah. Also, we're gonna add some other uh, set some other uh, values in here. So how we can set uh, variables within Kiwi file is we do this set, bam, and remember the colon right there because it's a command. So we do set red, the so we, now we set a variable named red, and what that variable stands for is the color red, the hexadecimal value for red. So it's going to be f uh, nine four, f nine four a six nine. Yep, red, ta da. And then we're going to do set green the same for that one zero six a five a b i believe yep there you go so the reason why it might look different from actually the reason why it doesn't look like the colors is because these are different uh different uh, variation kind of like a different uh tint or whatever of the color and plus i have something called uh where is it oh uh, oh wow, i don't have it well i have this program uh that kind of dims the screen for me a little bit it makes it yellow that way it makes it easier for my eyes so sometimes the colors are skewed so it's not always what the color that I see on the screen anyways moving along once we have that we're gonna go back to the um, to where we were the background color and we're gonna call color simple as that and we're gonna pass in the hexadecimal value and come on so that it's going to be zero zero, not six six, ba. So that's just a custom color, custom color that I want for all buttons. And actually, I could have just made that one as blue up top, but eh, whatever. Alrighty. So after that, what we gotta do is let's see. I know that I gotta go to let's see. So let's go to mix. We're going to go to the button called mix because we want that one to be different. So now all the buttons are blue. So now we got to specify on each individual button that we don't want it to be blue. So for example, division multiplication, they're already set to blue because we already defined it up on top. So how we can override that custom definition is by writing it inside the block itself like this. So we're going to do background color and then we're going to do color and then we're going to pass in for mix, uh, let's pass in green. 
you guys can obviously pass in other colors just to mess around but for this we're just gonna put the colors that I'm putting down so color red there you go so there you go man simple as that so now the background color for mix is green and the background color for this is uh, is red so yeah I mean that's pretty straightforward oh one thing I forgot is to put the border right here border and I believe it's 222 two, two. and I'm not sh quite sure um, this basically has to do with the way that the images are drawn so for example if you want to know more about it about this just google it so for example search uh, let's see what can we do so kiwi button uh, border and then google it and it popped up a new window and look at that kiwi documentation and then just look for border and there you go all that good stuff so documentation is good for a reason and it's there for a reason as well all right so once I have that I think that's the only other thing that I need to do um I don't remember anything else uh, oh yes the clear button yeah so this one I also wanted to change color so background color I want it to be uh, red as well red as well and then on on the math pop-up let's make the separator color green separator color color uh, green oh wait uh, why did I just put C on that one color there you go so I think that should work so let's go to um, um, oh what the heck E shell let's go to the shell and then let's run it and hopefully I did not screw up anything oh look at that exactly how I want it addition Oh, look at that font. Even the font has changed. Look at this. Look at this. How beautiful is this? How beautiful is this? So let's go with two. Oh, look at that. It changed as well. And let's see. Look at that. Close. Look at that. It's freaking beautiful. Yeah, that's basically it. All right. So I'll upload the code to GitHub as well. And I'll put a link on the description. So, uh, yeah, I think this is it for the series unless unless I get like uh, um, comments on how to compile it into uh, APK so you can install it on your Android unfortunately for iPhone I think it's a little bit more difficult I don't know the whole process because I don't have an iPhone so yeah yeah whatever all right sweet this is finally over all right thanks